Katie Hubble was four years old when she was diagnosed with a surf cast of aplastic anemia, a disease in which the bone marrow stops producing new blood cells. After several types of treatment failed, Katy underwent a bone marrow transplant. Her donor was a 40-year-old Ireland manager who lived thousands of miles away. His generosity saved the life of a little girl he had never met. Today, Katy is an active prudent girl who loves Harry Potter books and wants to be a cheerleader. Bone marrow transplants have been called a medical miracle because of their life-saving capability. I first became interested in the subject when a 12-year-old member of my crutch was diagnosed with leukemia. I joined the commit to publicize great case and to seek potential donors. Even 12 years suitable donors was found a Craig is now a healthy high school sophomore. Because of Craig's illness, I learned that anyone can get sick and need a bone marrow donation. It could be any of us in this room, a close friend, or even a family member. An estimated 15,000 bone marrow transplants are performed in the U.S. each year. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, these transplants give patients a change to be a disease once believed to have no cure. Through my research for this speech, I have learned much more about these remarkable products. And today, I would like to talk with you about bone marrow donation. How simple a process? It is for the donor. How absolutely fidel it is for the recipient and how donors and recipients find one another. Thank you.